Boys, I think I have a problem. We gotta talk about some stacks, bro, and not the one with the X, the one that's like a stack of, t so here's the thing, you could buy a, a like a, a combo DAC amp, like IFI Zen, or the Element 2, or the Matrix Mini I, and you'd be very happy. But for some reason, I, in my possession right this moment, have a fuckload of stacks, like stacks, like like two items that are a DAC and an amp. And we're pretty obsessed with um, that in the audiophile game. I don't know if it's because we just want, we just like things stacked on top of each other. I don't understand like liking things attached to, to one another. But um, let me show you around what I've got. We're gonna get to the Magnus, which is this review, and how fucking amazing it is, and holy shit, this stack, and I want, but you know what, I gotta compare it to at least one other stack. So I went and I started gathering up all the stacks that I had, and it turns out I have nine other ones. I'm sorry, yard sale, I'm gonna have to yard sale some shit, because I got everything from the SHSU9 stack to the topping D90A90 stack, to this stack, which isn't really a stack because I don't think it was advertised as a stack, but it's the Drop THX uh, AAA-1 and the Aorist R2R, and they're in the same case. So it's a fucking stack, which by the way, the um, the Aorist power supply went bad and, at RMAF and was shorting things out, so I don't have a new power supply, or I'd be using that because the Aorist R2R deck is amazing. Topping E30, D30 stack, I'm sorry, L30, E30 stack, the Atom stack, I got the original own X7S on top of the X1S. I got Gashelli, and I would even have the Erish on top of the new DAC, even though that's not a stackable thing. The JNOG and the Erish are different sizes. And then I got the topping uh, D50, A50, and P50, if you want to go for that triple stack. Did the D10S have a fucking amp? I don't think it did. Okay, we're safe. We're safe. I think I've cleared out my this. So the Magnus. I really need to look up specs for a second because even I need to know 100%. By the way, both of these units on Amazon, and I've done the Modius DAC review a while back, like a long while back, and I didn't sell it because it's a good, solid fucking DAC. And it was one of the cheaper-ish balance. Oh, we're gonna get to this too because you're all gonna run out and buy this. This thing is not currently in stock and by the time this video comes out it'll really not be in stock because it's an XLR bridge that doesn't involve cables um, so I'm using fiber optic it's the bottom DAC is powered by USB which is actually coming off the linear power supply of the P50 so another reason to get that power supply um, the amp the Magnus power switch on the back was <coughs> fuck you shit uh, AC in power brick here which is currently feeding 15 volts AC into it um, I have this new PL Plus C Furman power conditioner, which I'm going to need for the rack. This is the first video you, where you're seeing the rack. It's not hooked up. It's still very much not together. It doesn't hold the monitor on. It doesn't have any power. The power Furman's going to go in there. So if you want to see my build log of this, it's on the other channel, the unbox, the quote-unquote unboxing channel, but it's really just the second channel now because I do like projects and other than unboxings, which pick up the bulk, I do projects and builds and things like that there. So, um, sad news, someone on my, my Twitch stream said that the creator of the QES reference amp, who was apparently the designer and builder and business owner, died last year. Non-corona related things in Italy. And now that's it. So that, that's, I feel bad because I really like that and I was back and forth with them a few times. Uh, so yeah, stacks, bro. Is this where it's at? Because the reason you get a stack, there's only one. There's only one reason to get a stack. Well, there's several reasons to get a stack. Uh, you want to separate power supplies because the DAC needs a very specific linear power supply that's just perfect, and the amp needs a little more gusto to make, you know, when you have power needs, that's what a power amp does. So it makes sense to separate them out of a single chassis so that you don't have one draining off the other. That's one way you could put it. The other thing, the other argument I used to make is that so you could have separate upgrade paths. DAC works great, but I need more power on my amp. Take amp off, throw amp in the garbage, put a new amp on top. DAC's still there. Didn't have to spend money on DAC, just spent money on an amp. That works a little better if you're not in the absolute matching game. I really 
apparently I, I I say this with my mouth, but I like mix matching DAX and amps. Like I don't have to use the Modius on the Magnus. I could use the Modius on the JDS Labs EL2 if I felt like it. Or I could use the top. I mean, fuck, I, I reviewed the topping A50S. I didn't review it with the D50S, even though it's a great DAC. I reviewed it on the M400 DAC, which is another DAC that the SP400 showing up, and I'll have another fucking stack. I just realized it. Um, anyway, these are $250 plus $10 shipping on Amazon, which is pretty good considering you always ch charge shipping uh, shit, so you might as well get them on Amazon. Um, so this amp. Have I, have I diverted your attention away from the wallpaper enough with this shit to then come back and say, holy crap, shit? Because, like, there was a glimmer in the, in the Magni 3 Plus and the Heresy. A glimmer of, like, what was capable. Because shit was like, all right, it's shit stuff. And you get it. You got a Monty Magni stack. Everyone's happy. And then the Jotunheim came out and everyone was like, Jotunheim. And I was like, yay. It's a little harsh. So the Jotunheim completely eliminate that shit from your fucking head as of like two years ago. As soon as the T AAA, THX AAA came out, there was no need to look at the Jotunheim anymore. It was the, the only sub $500 option or around $500 option for balanced amplifier. Because it came with a balanced DAC for, that was installed in it for a little bit more money. So the, the amp was 400 and it came with it. So it was the only way to get balanced. And it was $500. But the Jotunheim, as much as it was powerful and everything, wasn't exactly the nicest amp to listen to. It just was the only one. There are multiple, multiple ways to go around that shit now. And it's, it's not been shit. It's been, uh, oh my God, when that fucking heater turns off, it's been other brands that have sort of picked up the pace. And it, there was no DAC for the 789, or I'd have a 789 here. I guess you could use the Aris if you really felt like it. Point being, the Shit Magnus is the best amp shit makes. I've listened, I had the Ragnarok here not too long ago. And for its size and its weight and its clickiness and its fucking cost. And it was like, oh, it's powering this. Oh, it does that. This is better. This is better sounding than their premium fucking amplifier. And you know what? I think it'll push everything too. I think it'll push everything. I don't think you need to have a single fucking other, other amp. If you are into shit, shit, get this shit and get it over with. Because it's like... The high-low gain, and it's kind of interesting because it's backwards. Usually it's like when the button is out, it's low gain, and you push it in for high... Wait. Push it in for high gain. Yeah, no, it's reverse on this, which I keep forgetting because the default, like the out is high gain and the in is low gain. And it's like... Mm, because I almost blew up these uh, Emotiva headphones. And I love these Emotiva headphones. And that would have been bad news. Oh, Jesus, Leonard Nimoy is singing. Let's fix that. Frankie Goes to Hollywood. Again, what is it about Frankie Goes to Hollywood? I do have a lot of it. It's... Pause it. Crank it. High gain it. These are very sensitive headphones. I'm on the, I turn the knob is up all the way. I'm on high gain. I'm paused. So it doesn't know that it's not playing music right now. There is the faintest little in the left channel. It's basically silent. Unless if you're doing something like what I just did, first of all, your head could probably explode. Don't do that. Um, but to make an amplifier this powerful, and again, I went to go look at specs and I missed it. Do they even list it here? Yeah, 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 yeah. Holy fuck. I honestly, did, all right, here's the thing. I bought this, right? Shit doesn't send it to me. I just bought it because it's like, all right, it's, it's time for me to do this. So I bought it. So like, I, usually if company sent it to me, they send me all the specs. And I'm like, that's great. I just bought it. I just hit the button because I wanted to complete the stack and do the review. By the way, the Matias being silver and the Magnus being black. I kind of like the silver better. And I thought it was over shit's silver phase. But they do such a nice job finishing it now that it's like it's kind of working its way back into my heart. 
Besides, this is not red enough. It's not Darth Vader enough. Five fucking amp, five amps, five watts, 5,000 milliwatts from its balanced output of 32. 5,000. Why are you buying any other amplifier from shit? There's other amplifiers to buy. Here's the thing. I'm looking at this pile of 10. 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm looking at these 10 stacks, and I could tell you a reason to buy every single one of them and not the other. Because it's, it's really fucked when you get into this sort of level of audiophilia. Like, well, why would you do that, Zio? Let's just pick the best one. Because best is relative. Right now, this is the best stack. This is absolutely wallpaper worthy to be the best stack. It's absolutely worth buying this thing, which I'll unplug it for a second. Hold on. And it's a pain in the... It's, 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 it's... Ah. Uh, this thing which came from, I love the name of the company, and I, I was like, they linked it to me, snakeoilsound.com. Snake Oil Sound, link's in the description. Um, I bought this. You know why? Because, okay, A, no one wants to have big XLR cables that are plugged in and looped around, and they fuck up, you can't put things against the wall. Someone told me about this, and I'm like, it's wood, and it's a, it's a bridge custom-made for the Matthias Magnus stack. How much? How much? $45 in free shipping? Fuck you, sold. You could buy a really nice set of XLR cables for $45 or this and never have to worry about cables again. The only issue I did have with this is it does take a little bit of wiggling to get it like, like it just had a, a connection issue because it's so stiff. And then because it's so stiff, if you accidentally did this, you'd probably break something. So I'd highly recommend if you're considering this, which you are, and you're now going to be on a waiting list for months because you're not a patron. Patrons, actually, I show this to my $10 patrons in the in the patrons chat, and they made it out of stock. So by the time it reaches my Patreon and Subscribestar, where these videos get three or 400 views, um, no one will be able to buy this. And then when it hits public, it accompanies out of business or he's moved to France and spent all his money because that's fucking stupid. In fact, there's another one here too. I got a free, I'm not sure if they sent it to me because I wrote Zeo's Pantera as my like username, but they sent me the um, RCA one for another shit stack, not specifically for the Valley 2, which is here, by the way, but um, it's a slightly off-centered like little RCA one. So this company, and it, like they sent this to me for free, and with this for $45, it's like, how are you making any money? I wouldn't have charged less than $80 to $120 for this thing, but it works. And you're going to buy it now. And if you already have a Monty Magni stack, you're like, shit, just shit. My only concern, again, is, though, that once you plug it in, you got to be real careful. That's in. That's in. You got to be real careful not to torque these two units against each other because you are just a big leverage point and bad things could happen. Where were we? Frankie goes to Hollywood? Rival Schools, ACDC, Dragon Ball Z. I mean, I have the best uh, playlist, let's just face it. Now, I'm on the unbalanced output and creaming over these because these are one of the headphones that I like the wire so much. It's so perfect and straight that I, I really kind of don't want to swap it out for something. It just, it works with it. And now if we take this out, though, and we plug in this motherfucker, which are the T60 Argons. Another thing that you will not be able to purchase. Um, Ryan explained to me that he's been working nonstop the uh, the stock issues he's been having from Fostex. Because he still needs to get these things from Fostex to make them. Has been slightly helped, but he's still weeks and weeks behind. And I'm like, dude, I know how to fix this. Double your prices. These are absolutely worth $1,200 from the sound alone. But the headphone's only $300, Zios. Yeah, no, 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 no. The, the, the case for the headphone. Ryan is the headphone. You get the ZMF pads. You do the tuning. For what you get, it should be $1,200. So now let's listen to this. Now, you can listen on low gain. You got to sort of bring it up to like almost max. So let's back it down. And just back down a little bit. Back down a lot of bit. Pop that button out because it goes, ha, high gain. And this is, I wonder if the SMS LSP 400 is going to be able to be better than this. 
Like, cause this is fucking clean as shit, bro. It, ah, it's like the warmth of the Magni Three Plus that I loved, and the cleanliness and linear fucking sounds of the Heresy. The two hundred dollar amps. I said you might as well buy both because they both do different things. It's like you smoosh them together, and instead of it going from one watt and one watt to two watts, it goes from one watt and one watt to five watts, and then is truly balanced. I'm practically speechless about this thing. Practically, not a hundred percent. I could, I could do it. By the way, um, we'll take a tour of the unit before I go into more about sound. You get to switch your RSA input or XLR. XLR is out and high gain is out. Those are your settings. I love the knob. I'm just a I'm a sucker for a long knob. I just am, all right? Because a lot of times you grab the volume knob and it's short. And it's, I, feel, I have I have like big hands. And I want to be able to get a full grasp on that. It does make noise, though. Hold on, pause that. You could hear the brushes inside doing their thing. It isn't just like a smooth, it's like a shh, 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 shh. But for what it outputs, I don't care. Um, one row of vents, one, I think it's a single LED, a single red LED. No power indicator on the front because it's shit stuff. And you're never supposed to turn it off anyway because it's shit stuff. The back. Um, XLR inputs, which are currently covered. RCA inputs here, um, XLR and RCA outputs, so you can use it as a preamp, and your fucking stupid, 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 stupid uh, power switch, which is all the way in the back, and uh, stupid because you're stupid. You're just stupid. Stop being stupid shit to being stupid. Put it on the front, I might. I should start a fucking petition. They're not ever going to do it. They're never going to do it, because it's just, but I just like being able to go, I do not want to use you now. Off. Actually, that was off. I just turned it on. The Rebel Amp is another one, and I have to yell at the Rebel Amp, but I love the Rebel Amp. But where the fuck is the... Vo it, where is it? Show me. Show me where the where the, where the the engineer man touched you. There. Why well, do I have to go back here to turn this on and off? And this is a Class A, so it gets hot. This is, this is another one. Here's here. Here's where the volume control is. On the fucking Emotiva. Why? Why? Why are you people making me go to the back of my unit? That's for shit for like master cutoffs. Here's a power switch. This actually will just turn off. This has a button. Um, Gishelli, you could hold the button. D d this, look, even this QES reference, which is a crazy weirdo Italian one, has an on-off switch in the front. Why can't shit do that? Do they believe in like the full, like it has to stay the same warmth? Then why not just sell me I guarantee you there's some audiophile company somewhere. Because it's the same with R2R DACs. Like R2R DACs need to like warm up to a very specific temperature thing and then they work perfectly. That's a thing, it's a real thing. So if that's what they're trying to say, why are you giving me vent holes? Why aren't you giving me this in a, in a sealed case that's temperature controlled with a, with a thermostat? So I know it has to be 72.4 degrees on the outside so the inside could achieve a perfect thermal equilibrium of 91.8 degrees Fahrenheit or some shit. Put the fucking power switch in the front, you bastards. Moving on to the, because it's fucking great. You're going to buy it regardless of me complaining about the back. So it's basically I just did the review of the Matrix, uh, Matrix Mini Eye, which I said sounded like a balanced version of the Rebel Amp. And this sounds like a Matrix Mini Eye. Just way more powerful so everything's just it's it's 2020 has been obviously a fucked year for all of us <laughs> but i'm in my own basement now not renting so that's a good thing but everything i do has this fucking jump over the last thing i've done it's like oh yeah this and then this and then this and then this and then it's like the a50s that sounds basically as good as like the topping a90 which which was basically better than the THX 789, which was like the greatest fucking thing ever. So it's just like, well, you can't lose. This is just a nice way to not lose. And it's made in America, which I know doesn't matter to like 
53% of my audience because you're all not Americans. But it matters to me. It does matter to me. Like, I get, like, that's America. That's America. That's America. China, 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 China. Okay, um... I don't think this should. Ha I don't think this will have any problems powering any fucking headphone you've got. I don't think it's. It doesn't sound super like sterile. That's my biggest fear: is something will sound sterile, because headphone amplifiers should not be hard to review. You sit down, you set it up, you got a, a DAC you trust. Get get rid of the the uh, odds that the other piece of hardware will fuck with it. Put a DAC that you've known that you've used over and over again. Even if you've got a stack and you want to do them together, no, 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 no. Do the amplifier on a DAC you know and do the DAC on an amp you know. That's how you do it right. Listen to music you've heard a million times before. As much as it pains you to keep listening to the same tracks, Zeus, be consistent. Get headphones that the people know you've listened to and have reviewed and do over and over and over and over and over and over. The only thing that's missing is a Civica Phoenix. They're over there. I did listen to them on here too. A little bit touchy with the volume, but it's similar to this where you get to, you get to like use noon. There's such a discrepancy between low gain and high gain that you can pretty much handle anything. Just be cautious when you're going from low to high. Lower it. Lower the volume because it's going to jump. Headphones, headphone amp reviews are the same music you know on the same headphones you know on a DAC you know. Just shove this in the middle and see what it does. And does it give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down or a meh? And this is a fucking thumbs up. Thumbs up, buddies! Sports weekend, we're going for it. That's that's literally best I could I could describe. This is the because now the SH9 is the king of linear. And the Magnus is the king of, I guess, I want to say fun, but that's going to make people go, like, oh, Zio said it's not that clean and amped. Fuck you. I didn't say that. You said that. I could tell. I've been to forums. You put words in my mouth because I don't say them. I say a lot of words. And if they're not the right words, you just go, well, he probably meant to say this. And you'll slide that shit in there. There's absolutely a need for almost all of these amps. The, maybe the Aoun stack over there with its high output impedance would be like, I'd, I'd sort of move that to the back of the of the fucking table. Like, I am I like you because, you know, you have a history with me, but I wouldn't really use you right now. Class A or not on that balance. Linear, cheap, super fucking linear. Everybody loves the A90. Find me a person who doesn't love the A90. There's someone out there who doesn't love the A90. This is not an A90. This is more of an A90. The SH9 is more towards like that, that linearity and cleanliness. And then you get the ones that put a little bit of funk on it. But I can't say that too loud because then everyone's going to be like, well, Zeo's, I don't want I want linearity. Or does this ruin my sound? Or, or then you're going to start asking me 700 questions of what does this do to this? And I haven't tried every combination on the planet Earth. Gotta give me a break, bro, bros. Give me a break. I got nine other reviews to do this week. But I can do reviews of headphones on this amplifier, which I now fucking love. What else do we need to talk about? Hold on, let me put these light bulbs in on that Furman. Fermentation. Oh. So, okay. The linear stack. The also linear stack, the also linear stack, the little linear stack. Honestly, the JDS Labs Atom must probably be linear. The yeah, linear, wonky, weird, but I love it. Then you're like the mini super powerful linear, because that's three and a half watts per channel, which is only about a, a watt and a half more than this, but five is a lot. So I guess this is the stack you're getting if you want. You want that class A, ma I don't, it's not class A. It doesn't even get warm. Here's the thing. Most shit amplifiers, when you run them, and it was a diff huge difference between the Heresy and the Magni 3. The Ma Magni 3 got warm. The Heresy did not. This is room temperature or below. So I believe it's stealing a lot of its magic from the Heresy. It's just so good. They've somehow warmed up the sound of the Heresy and then quintupled the fucking power and made it balanced. I will clean up the shelves, by the way. We're not done here. I'm not going to like just piles of sim racing stuff and speakers behind the, the monitor. 
I bought both of these. They didn't send me either one. I bought this whole stack. I own this stack and I will continue to own it. Shit has done very well for themselves in the last like year and a half, two years. They haven't just, you know, played the safe card. I mean, the only thing that's missing here is now the Erish because the Gashelli Erish is a, uh, a current mode amplifier which is a different whole breed this you know what this kind of feels like it might be a current mode amplifier that would be one way to do it to not generate heat so this might be like a little a, a bigger airish Ooh, competition in the americas it's gonna be fun i can't wait to get they actually took my original airish back because it was a hand soldered one and they're gonna send me a production airish um with it with the colorful box it's gonna be fantastic um wallpaper because fuck, that's how this whole combo feels. Uh, links to, I don't want to link everything here. I think you guys could pick and choose, but I mentioned a couple like a lot. I'll link those in the description. Uh, Patreon and subscribe star. When companies don't send me things, you guys buy it for me by supporting this channel. You also get to see these reviews early in the $5 tier and participate in the yard sale. I'm probably going to put um, the Atom stack in the yard sale. That'll be number one. And I could even do one of those JDS Labs stacks. No, not JDS Labs, the uh, Gashelli stacks. Because I have literally like three of these. I have them in different colors too. So you can get the purple. And this is the old school Arkle Pro. So yeah, these will probably end up in a yard sale. I'll spread them out. I kind of want to keep... It's my heat. I kind of want to keep that because I love I love the E30 and the D and the L30 is like the fucking linear test bench cheap one. So it's like I pull that out. That one means a lot to me. That's brand new, so I'm not going to fuck with it. I still haven't gotten this one to work because I need to get the power supply for the Irish. Things will be in yard sales. Find out tier. See these reviews early. Um, participate in the yard sales. Um, if you'd like to join the $10 tier, you get to the behind the scenes private telegram chat where you can ask me any questions you want and I will answer them immediately on my phone. Um, there will be other ways for you to contact me. There is a public Telegram chat, which I sometimes pop into and answer answer questions. It's just a lot. And if you try to message me on Discord, there is a Discord, a pr proper Zero Reviews Discord. I don't run it. I, modif I moderate it, but um, it's run by someone else. And holy fuck, do I have every message blocked on Discord. Every message. It's too much, man. It's too much, man. Too much, too much which is a line from Fear and Loathing, if you know that movie very well. Um, yeah. I would thank shit for sending this to me, but they didn't. I want to thank Snake Oil for existing. I literally would not put this stack together with XLR cables. I wanted that connect that adapter. Totally fucking worth it. My my OCD is satiated. Like, it's just like, oh, it's just like, it's together. It's togetherness. So, yeah. Yeah? 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 So much, yeah. Now I gotta put all these things back on like a shelf, and then I gotta finish working on this, and then do more things today. I think I should probably put IMs in while I'm working on that, though. Okay, we good? We're great? I'll see you all tomorrow.